वेलकम टू द चैप्टर व्हाट इज साइंस दिस स्लाइड प्रेजेंट्स द ओवरव्यू ऑफ द चैप्टर लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव्स बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस चैप्टर यू विल बी एबल टू understand the need of science differentiate between individual and societal perspective understand science and change explain the scientific methods identify the steps in planning and investigation discuss the types of measurements used in science understand the safety rules to be followed while doing an investigation introduction before entering into the chapter follow the instructions shown on the screen click each tab to know more in lower classes we learned that it is the human brain which has made great inventions such as computers mobile phones internet space shuttles robotics hybrid food grains medicines etc this is because scientists look at nature in a different way do you know about science and the changes it underwent how scientists work how to plan an experiment what measurements are used to interpret the data what are the safety rules to be followed in a scientific lab let us try to answer these questions and learn more about scientific study Science makes us understand the world better with backup of research and various experiments done by scientists. Experimentation is a natural process conducted under controlled conditions to find the unknown truths in nature. Questioning is the first step in finding new things. This made us to know about science in different fields. Ecologists observe the terrestrial behavior of bluebirds whereas geologists tell us about fossils and minerals in earth's crust an astrophysicist enables us to see the photographs of distant galaxies chemists recorded the reactions of matter at different temperatures and nuclear physicists made a note of angular momentum of particles in a circular path different biologists experimented on the behavior of a particular tissue in various stimulants now let us learn about the need of science Science is a type of knowledge accumulation to test new ideas. These inventions help people to know the developments in their lives. The need of science varies from individual perspective to societal perspective. Individual perspective. Science is a way of building knowledge about the world. and constructing new ideas that illuminate the world around us scientists are the ones who discovered the new species of dinosaur or a new model in which atoms bond new discoveries which enable us to think about nature they find interest in the discovery of some unknown facts which overturn the accepted ideas now let us look into societal perspective Science has great impact on every individual 
as it improves people's lives. Let us observe some examples. Geneticists are discovering new things to understand how certain conditions are passed from one generation to another generation. Biologists are seeking the information about the transmitted diseases in order to improve the lives of ordinary people. Youth scientists are developing better models to predict the weather, earthquakes, landslides, volcanic eruptions, etc. On the other hand, the domain of answers lie in the society's desire for economic development. Let us observe some examples. Many youth scientists find more effective ways to discover or to recover the natural resources like coal or petroleum and oats. Botanists are working to improve the agricultural output that enrich the nations nutritionally. Physicists started developing new phenomena like superconductivity and other similar phenomena which help in economic development. Chemists started developing new chemical substances with potential technological applications. Hence, the societies support science by providing resources to them as the scientific inventions are used for the economic development of the nation. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Science and Change Science undergoes constant changes in discoveries which make a better understanding of nature. Advances in existing discoveries happen only when it is regularly questioned. Karl Popper says, science is a history of corrected mistakes. For example, Albert Einstein every year retracts what was written in the previous year. Many scientists would like to go back to their past by centuries to know the ideas developed during that time. Scientists observe nature in a different way and this led to great innovations. The way they follow the nature is termed as scientific method. Now, let us observe how they follow the scientific methods. Scientific Methods The processed work processed by scientists in their discoveries is called scientific method. This includes planning and investigation, science process skills, reading to learn, writing to communicate, measuring. Planning and investigation Before starting research, they gather information, plan, conduct a study, organize and present their study. Planning and investigation includes five steps. Let us study about them. Following are the five steps to be followed for planning and investigation. As questions, Form a hypothesis, plan an experiment, 
conduct the experiment, result and conclusion. Click each tab to know more. Ask questions. Observe the required material carefully. Note down one question which you want to know. Prepare notes about that question. Sort out what is the additional information required. Need to do research on the topic. Which soil suits best for planting bean seeds? Need to study about different types of soil. Form a hypothesis. Try to make a hypothesis or suitable answer to your question. Hypothesis is the possible answer that can be tested. Summarize your hypothesis in a complete sentence. According to my hypothesis, bean seeds sprout well in potting soils. Plan an experiment. Write down the variables or factors required. Also make a list of equipments. Make necessary arrangements to record the data. I will sow same type of seeds in three different kinds of soil, sandy, clay, potting soils. These are kept under same climatic conditions. Conduct the experiment. Observe the growth of seeds at regular intervals. Record the data in a table so that you can make a clear study. To check the growth of these seeds, I will note their height for every 3 days and make a bar graph finally after 21 days. Result and Conclusion Analyze the data collected and represent in terms of graphs. Make a note of conclusion determining the factors responsible. Check if your hypothesis is correct or not. Now I got it. My hypothesis is not true. Seeds have sprouted in two soils, but there is no sprout in the clay soil. Science Process Skills Whenever scientists are trying to find answers for a question or an experiment, they use thinking tools called process skills. We also use these process skills when we speak, listen, read, write and think. Following are the examples to know about the use of science process skills. Example 1. Investigation on seashells by Arun. Example 2. Investigation on measurements by Priyanka. Example 3. Investigation on use of a model by Suhas. Example 4. Investigation on use of a model by Swati. Click each tab to know more. Example 1 Investigation on seashells by Arun Arun visits a beach out of his interest. He likes to collect some seashells which look alike and also of different sizes and shape. Use of process skills 
He observes the shells that are collected and compares their size, shape and color. Then he classifies them into groups according to their shapes. Process skills. Observe. Use the senses to learn about objects and events. Compare. Recognize the characteristics of things or events to find out how they appear, same or different. Classify. Group or arrange objects or events in categories based on specific characteristics. Example 2. Investigation on measurements by Priyanka. Priyanka has a doubt that how would a rock undergoes changes in its shape and size. She plans an experiment to find out whether rubbing the sand against a rock will cause the rock to change its size and shape. Use of process skills. Priyanka collects four rocks and measures their masses. She takes a jar and places the four rocks in a jar along with sand and water. Then she records the weight of the rocks for a week, every day by shaking them. Based on the analysis of the data, she concluded that rocks break when sand is rubbed against them. Hence, there is a change in the initial weight. Process skills Measure Compare and attribute an object such as length or capacity to a unit of measure such as gram, centimeter or liter. Gather Record Display and interpret data. Gather data by making observations that will be useful for inferences or predictions. Record data by writing down the observations in a table, graph or notebook. Display data by making tables, charts or graphs. Interpret data by drawing conclusions about what the data shows. Example 3 Investigation on use of a model by Suhas. Suhas has a doubt that how a light switch works in his bedroom. To verify this, he uses the required materials like batteries, a bulb, a bulb holder, thumbtacks and a paper clip. Use of process skills. He uses a model consisting of switch and wires. He connects the bulb wires and batteries to make the bulb glow. He infers that switch interrupts the flow of electricity and turns on the light. Hence, Suhas model proves his prediction and inference. Process skills Use of a model Make a representation to help you understand an idea, an object or an event such as how something works. Predict Form an idea of an expected outcome based on observations or experience. Infer Use logical reasoning to explain the events and draw conclusions based on the observations. Swati plans to conduct a small experiment. She wants to know what type of paper towel absorbs more water. Uses of process skills For this, she requires three brands of paper towels and three beakers containing one liter of water. Now, immerse the paper towel in different beakers for 10 seconds. Pull the towel out of water and drain it. She measures the water left in each beaker. Note she controls variables by making sure each beaker contains exactly same amount of water 
and by timing each step in her experiment exactly. Process skills Hypothesize, make a statement about an expected outcome. Plan and conduct experiment. Identify and perform the steps necessary to test a hypothesis using appropriate tools, recording and analyzing the idea collected. Control the variables. Identify and control the factors that are affecting the outcome of an experiment so that only one variable is tested. Now, let us learn about the next scientific method reading to learn. In order to investigate on a topic, scientists use reading, writing and numbering in their work. They need to do research and read everything about a topic. In order to read the topic and understand it, scientists must know the meanings of science vocabulary. Let us also follow some strategies that help us to become good science readers. Following are some of the strategies that help us to become good science readers. Before reading, during reading, after reading. Click each tab to know more. Before reading, read the main statement that helps us to know what to look for as we start reading. Imagine, I need to find out what are the parts of an ecosystem, how these ecosystems are organized. Look at the vocabulary for words. Make sure that you are able to pronounce each and every word. Look into the glossary to find the meaning of the typical words. State the definitions to yourself and place the words in the sentences to show their meaning. Read the title of the section. Imagine, I need to understand what an ecosystem is and what are the parts of an ecosystem. The title Different Ecosystems gives me an idea that an ecosystem may consist of both living and non-living things. During reading from the first paragraph, find the main idea. Group of organisms interacting with each other and the environment constitute an ecosystem. In the next paragraph, find the details that support the main idea. Based on the type of environment, there can be fewer or more number of living things on the ecosystem. Plants and animals meet their basic needs in an ecosystem when the environment has more space, food and shelter. Check your understanding of what you have read. Answer the questions at the end of the topic. If you are unable to answer the question, again read the topic and look for the answer to that particular question. After reading, finally, summarize what you have read. Think about what you have already learned about the ecosystem, types of ecosystems and their interactions. Question yourself. What kind of system is an ecosystem? What are the interactions that occur in an ecosystem? Reading about science helps us to understand the conclusions based on our investigations. Now, let us learn about the other scientific method writing to communicate. Writing about what you are learning helps you in getting new ideas. Generally, while doing research and investigations, scientists write about what they have learned in order to help others to understand the work they have done. If you want to write or work like a scientist, Use the following writing methods to describe what you are learning. 
Following are the four different methods of writing to describe what you are learning. Informative writing, narrative writing, expressive writing, persuasive writing. Click each writing tab to know more. Informative writing. The purpose of this method is to clearly and accurately inform about the topic you are learning. In this method, you may 1. Describe your observations, inferences and conclusions. 2. Explain how to perform an experiment. 3. Narrative Writing the purpose of this method is to describe something, tell stories or events or give examples. This method has a beginning, middle and an end. The details of this method describe the actions, thoughts and feelings. This method of writing includes characters. This method of writing has a sequential order. In this method you may Write about two or more events. Make sure that the events are written in order. Give details about what happened. Use words like beginning, middle and in the end. Finish the story with good ending. Expressive writing. In this method, you may write letters Poems, songs. Persuasive writing. In this method, you may write letters or describe about important issues in science. Writing letters about what you have learned helps other people to understand your thinking. Now, let us learn about the other important scientific method measuring. Scientists take experimental measurements exactly by gathering data. They use different measuring instruments like thermometer, clocks, timers, spring scales and balances. To measure liquids, they use beakers and containers. Using numbers Generally, scientists use numbers in order to collect and display their data. A scientist must have important skills like understanding numbers and utilizing them to display the results of investigations. If you work like a scientist, then you must use numbers in the following ways. Interpreting data In order to help others what they have learned, scientists usually collect, organize, display, and interpret the data about their investigations. The good way to display the data is by using tables, charts and graphs. Using Number Sense Scientists must understand about the numbers they are using for representation. Generally, they compare and order numbers. Compute with numbers shown on graph. Read the scales on thermometers, measuring cups, beakers and other tools. By using mathematical skills, good scientists display and interpret the data they have collected. While doing experiments or investigations in science, we need to follow some rules and regulations. They are as follows. Think ahead, be neat, oops, watch your eyes, yuck, protect yourself from shocks, keep it clean. Click each tab to know more. Think ahead. While doing an investigation, first we need to study the steps. Make sure 
that you know all the safety symbols that are shown in the lab. Be neat. While doing an experiment, we need to keep our work area clean and neat. If you have long hair, pull it back so that it doesn't get in the way or do not disturb you. If you have long sleeves, roll or push them up to keep them away from your experiment. Oops! While performing an experiment, if anything breaks unexpectedly or if there is any cut on your body, then inform your teacher immediately. Watch your eyes. While doing an experiment, wear safety goggles. Suppose, if anything falls in your eyes while performing experiment, inform your teacher immediately. Yuck! While performing an experiment in science labs, never eat or drink anything unless your teacher says. Protect yourself from shocks. While doing an experiment, be careful with the electrical appliances. Make sure that the electrical cords are placed in a safer place where you cannot trip over them. Don't overpull a plug out of an outlet by pulling on the cord. Keep it clean. Always clean your experimental apparatus after completing the experiment. Keep your work area clean. Wash your hands clean and neat. Now, let us learn about the secret of inventions and discoveries. The secret of inventions and discoveries lie in identifying the problem. For example, the Earth started revolving around the Sun even before the discovery of heliocentric theory by Copernicus. In the similar way, the objects used to fall down on the Earth even before Newton's investigation. The idea behind these investigations is that these people thought beyond the common man in identifying the problems. Everyone knows that necessity is the mother of invention. This implies that a need or problem encourages creative efforts in order to solve the problem. For example, when people needed a transport to move fast from one place to another place, they discovered vehicles. In the same way, when people thought to travel faster, they invented supersonic jet planes and even spacecrafts. There is a sequential process in discovering things. For example, you might have observed how your mother cooks food, how the cycle mechanic repairs the cycle, how farmers plow their fields. All these processes take place in a systematic order. Generally, we get questions in our brain like How birds and ants find their way home? How do trees shed their leaves in a particular season? Why ants follow one another in a line? Why cannot we see stars during daytime? In this way, many more questions will arise in our brain. To answer these questions, we need to follow a sequential order. Following are the steps to be followed to find the answers. Identifying problem, making hypothesis, collecting information, data analysis, experimentation, result analysis, generalization. Click each tab to know more. Identifying problem. 
identify some of the problems from your surroundings. Example, fan is not rotating. Making hypothesis. List out different solutions to the problem. Example, blades problem, motor problem, fuse failure, wire problem, switch problem, regulator problem. Collecting information. In order to solve the identified problem, Collect materials, apparatus, and information required. Example Collect materials like screwdriver, switch and regulator, tester, insulation tape, wire, soldering iron, fuse. Data Analysis Arrange the collected data or information to conduct an experiment. Experimentation To verify the selected hypothesis, conduct an experiment. Example Observe the wire connections in the fan. Result Analysis Analyze the results to find out solution for the problem. If your hypothesis is correct, then that is the solution. If your hypothesis is wrong, then select another hypothesis to prove. Generalization Based on the experiment and results, demonstrate the solution for the problem. Example, as the internal wires of the fan are cut, the fan is not rotating. Hence, we need to replace the wires of the fan. This is the way to find the solutions to the problems in a scientific method. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Keywords List of keywords are given on screen. Summary Let us recap the highlights of this chapter. Science has provided as many facilities when compared to primitive man. Scientists have made great inventions such as computers, mobile phones, internet, space shuttles, robotics, hybrid food grains, medicines, etc. Need of science is important both from individual and societal perspective. Every scientist finds great joy in disproving the existing theories. Science knowledge is important to every individual to understand the new discoveries which are useful to us in our daily life. Invention of new strains of fruiting plants Potential chemicals for various applications. Geneticists are finding similarities between generations in all the living organisms. Biologists are finding causes for various diseases. While earth scientists are predicting about volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, etc. The scientists observe the nature in a specific way. 
hence they find new secrets of nature. Scientific methods include planning and investigation, science process skills, reading to learn, writing to communicate, measuring, reading to learn. In order to investigate a topic, scientists use reading, writing and numbering in their work. Generally, while doing research and investigations, scientists write about what they have learned in order to help others to understand the work they have done. They are divided into four types. Informative writing, narrative writing, expressive writing, persuasive writing. Improve your learning. Read the questions and attempt the answers on your own. You can click answer for your reference. Follow-up work. Take up the following activities. Observe the images shown on the screen and mention types of ecosystems. Why pickles do not spoil but sambar gets spoiled. From the given forest ecosystem, list the living things and non-living things. Observe the images shown on the screen and identify the animals Find out where these animals can be found. Why do leaves fall from a tree when they turn yellow? Test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test. You have successfully completed the chapter, What is Science?